just thought I'd do a little bit of a vlog today. Uh, I haven't got a subject in mind right off hand. What was on the menu today? Well, we've already had dinner. We had a bratwurst prepared in an air fryer. The wife cooked a big old cast iron pan full of hash brown potatoes that were, some people might call them home fries. But they were very good. Had a bowl of pork and beans and a little bowl of leftover broccoli from yesterday. Well, it seemed like there was something else on the menu. Anyway, I had a big old glass iced tea. And I was going to get out today and do some grass cutting. I wanted to. Uh, I not only wanted to, I needed to. The grass is getting like two feet tall in some places. So that means when I cut, there's just going to be clumps of grass everywhere. Gets too much out of control. I'll probably have to make two trips around the yard to get it all cut. And when you're cutting right at two acres of land, that's a lot of grass cutting. But today, what did it do? It rained a lot. According to the rain gauge over there, we've had almost an inch and a half of rain uh, just since this morning. And uh, we got out and went and carried the trash over to the landfill. I haven't done anything but sit here and watch YouTube. It's amazing what all's going on in the news today. If you're not keeping track of the news, you should. There's some horrific things going on. And I'm not going to elaborate on any of them, just that I've got my opinion on things one way or the other. And I would not try to influence my viewers one way or the other. You just got to look at the news and decide for yourself uh, what you think or your uh, interpretation of the news. Uh, what else has been going on? My vlog yesterday was on Twitter whether as to whether or not it would behoove me to create an account over there. I did get a few comments from a couple of my viewers. Uh, a few, not a lot. I thought it would be more than that. It so leads me to believe maybe most of my viewers don't watch Twitter, but I had a few positive uh, responses to my positive comments to my question. Uh, nobody recommended one way or the other whether I should do it. But I'm considering it, but I think we're going to put it all on hold right now. And continue to weigh the situation as to whether I want to. I know it would interfere with my YouTube productions. I spend hours uh, preparing and creating videos for my viewers. You might ask, why? how could you spend hours doing it? Well, you got to realize if you just turn on your camera and video something, it's going to be nothing spectacular. You got to create a video that people would be interested in at least listening to what you have to say. So you got to edit it properly. A lot of people will create a video and why didn't nobody look at my video? Well you got to have subjects that interest people. You can't just go on there and um, talk or something without a something that would be of interest to your viewers. A lot of people will do videos on hobbies and different things. I got started on YouTube doing railroad videos and merged off into doing vlogs and telling stories. And I've got several playlists of different um, that I've created, YouTube shorts and other things. And as a result, I've got 32, 33, I don't know myself how much it is now, but I've got in the 30, 32, 33,000 viewers, I get a few viewers each week, not a whole lot because I haven't been pushing um, for people to subscribe to my videos. But you think about 30,000 viewers have thought enough of my channel to click subscribe. Makes you think maybe a lot of people are listening to me. So right now I'm just on the fence 
one way or the other as to whether I want to get involved with Twitter. There might be some suggestions that might persuade me to consider Twitter or any other social media that viewers might think I might find of interest. But if you look on all my videos down there, if you click more info, uh, there's links on there to will direct you to my Facebook site, my Instagram if anybody's interested in following me or asking me to follow them on Facebook or Instagram. Um, I don't think very many people bother to look at the info down there on the videos that I create. But I always put some type of little description, usually the title of the video or what it's about, so that the Google robot can figure out what your video is all about so they know where to spread it around on the internet. That's why they ask you to put tags on videos. If, if you didn't put any tags in your videos, say if you're talking about railroading for example, if you don't have some railroad related tags in your video, well, the Google robots ain't got no idea where to direct viewers to come and watch your videos. There's a lot of thinking involved in creating videos that people will will watch. I've got quite a few views here on YouTube. I've been here for quite a few years. Being an older man, I probably could come up with some more creative ways to promote my channel, but I do the best I can. I do appreciate all my viewers tuning in and listening to me daily. Sometimes I'll tell you a story or um, I have done a lot of projects, um, yard work, I've got actually thousands of videos on YouTube. There's plenty that my viewers can find of interest to watch. But anyway, I just carried on a little bit about my blog from yesterday on Twitter. And right now I'm still on the fence. Am I going to fall off this side of the fence or that side of the fence? Am I going to be a Twitter tweeter or not? How many of you people keep track of Twitter? I'd like to have some more answers from some of my viewers, but... Those that did comment on yesterday's vlog, I appreciate your comments and your input. It looks like we're going to get more rain tomorrow. I have no idea when I'm going to be able to get out there and do my grass cutting, but Walter is definitely going to be doing a grass cutting video as soon as it gets dry enough. Can't go out there and do it in the wet. Anyway, I hope the rest of the week goes well for y'all. And... Uh, I think before I conclude today's vlog, I thought I'd mention, you know, I told my viewers that I went and got my ears lower the other day. You can see that. But I'll tell you a little story that happened when I was at the hairdresser shop over there. There was a gentleman waiting for his turn to get his hair cut when I went in the barber shop. There was a couple of people ahead of me. And I sit and said hello, and I'm sitting talking to him a little bit. He gets up and he starts roaming around. They got all these beauty products lined up on the wall for women to put hairspray on and shampoos or whatever. Well, fumbling around on the shelf, he knocked one of them off. I don't know if it was what it was, but it was in a spray can. When he gets it back up and puts the top back on, the little plastic squeeze button on top fell off. And the time he got it all stuck back on there, it was just oozing with the white stuff running down the side of this brightly colored can. And he looking around to see if anybody's watching him and the ladies over there were cutting somebody's hair. So he spoke off. It turned out the one that was he was talking to was his wife over there getting her hair cut. And he held the can up and said, Does this stuff make you beautiful? Because it says on the can, you know, uh, something, something about being beautiful. And I spoke up and said, I don't believe 
two or three cans of stuff would help you, old man. You're in the same boat as me. He just kind of laughed. And uh, he came back and said, John, we were sitting there talking. They called my name and I I mentioned to him, I, I make vlogs on YouTube, look me up. Oh, I don't ever mess with a computer. So I went on in there and sat on the chair and the lady started cutting my hair. Well, pretty soon they finished the old man's wife's hair and he came up there to get his hair, his hair cut by the same lady. And the lady was clipping around on my head and cutting and trimming my eyebrows and I'm listening to him and he's done got to talking to the lady just cutting his hair and you could hear him all over the hairdressing shop talking. And he got to telling her a joke. Now, I might mess it up but you'll get the general trend of it. But uh, I'm listening and he said, I don't know if he was saying something, he heard it or what it was but he, he's re relating this joke that he heard said this old man couldn't hear nothing out of his left ear. Got to where for a while there he just couldn't hear a darn thing out of his ear. So he went to the doctor and the doctors looked and I can't hear a thing out of my ear. So, well, let us check it out and they looked in his ear. Oh well, no wonder you can't uh, you can't hear nothing. You got a suppository in your ear. A suppository, he said, he scratched his head a little bit and said, now I know where my hearing aid is. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't help but giggle a little bit and uh, he went on with some of his stories and he left the hairdressing shop shortly about the same time I did. We went on over to Walmart and he came by and yelled out the window at me and I, I was walking to get in the store with my cane and uh, talked to him for a minute. I told his wife, I said, you don't ever get on a computer, huh? No, but my wife does. I said, well, look up Pete Walpar. You might see me. You might see some of my videos and find them of interest. And uh, I got a business card I want to get printed up. One of my viewers helped me uh, draw up some business cards. One of these days I just might go get some of them printed. I've been meaning to do that because I'd like to be able to hand one of those cards out when I want to promote my channel to somebody that's, that I, you know, I think they might find it of interest. Anyway, I thought I'd share that little story of the old man at the hairdressing shop. And uh, he'll take care. Pete Walpar saying, we are definitely signing off this time. We'll catch you next time. It's P. Walpar wishing everybody well.